This is CHRT synthesizer, a purely tube synthesizer. All the synthesis is done in those four tubes. It's got a oscillator, resonator, various drive stages, and VCA. That's all done in tubes. Uh, this is a custom version. This is a DIY kit. That is the like main product of the company in whatever level of assembly you want it. I can assemble it for you or you can do it on your own with all the parts you need. So that's CHRT and primarily was built for wind controllers but works on keyboard with aftertouch. You can adjust, adjust many, many, many things uh, uh, with uh, CC channels, so, so you can customize your response. Uh, I'll play a bit on that. Yeah, for bass. Line, uh, baseline lovers, there's something. And not going into much of detail, but with, with some uh, modulations. This is uh, driven by envelope generator. show a bit of range, uh, a range of sounds. It doesn't go very far, very wild. It always stays this conservative, uh, sort of thick sounding instrument. So this is the flat setting in the middle. With the three controls, mainly, you change the sound, like a normal brightness, and you get brassy touch. side of the of the spectrum These are the basic basic uh, settings. Uh, you can fiddle with with that more. Find your own. It's a living animal, so you have to find your way how to how to how to do things. I would just add one more thing. So the whole thing starts here, which is which is an oscillator, kind of a sawtooth, the re relaxation oscillator, and it's done in uh, gas discharge tube. So as a bonus, you get a nice little uh, lightning when you when you play. Yeah, nice discharge. So this this is triggered. Right, now it's in the position where, where it's just stopped and I can trigger it. 
with with pulses uh, derived from from the MIDI signal. Uh, then it goes to half of this. That's the drive stage. So it makes it. I go somewhere different. Then it goes to multi vibrator, which is these these two triodes, and that is used like a resonator. It's again an oscillator, quite wild one, but but it's kept tamed just under self oscillation and fed with 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 the oscillations from from the oscillator after the drive. Then another drive stage into a filter, which is a simple coil capacitor, nothing else. Uh, and then into VCA, which is done in pentode as a grid for signal and screen for the CV that opens and shuts the valve. So that's, that's all there is. And the mystery of the sound is, is uh, in between those stages that I give them different loads. That means different impedances, so different phase phase shifts and and, uh, and different drives. So that way, the, the the shape of the resonator, like if you imagine it physically, you can change the shape and 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 the size of, of, of the resonator. So so you get narrow sounds, you get wide sounds. Uh, but as I said, still within a very conservative range of, of, uh, of uh, a very conservative range of, 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 the, of the sound of the timbre. Yeah, and then all these other knobs are, are just for uh, just for modulation. Uh, I've got a envelope generator for the VCA that I. Mix a little, little spike uh, for for the attack, which is velocity sensitive, so I can do better articulation and, and things like that. So I can mix it into into the main BC or main uh, main sustain uh, signal, and the other envelope is for those two modulations. One of them modulates the bias, so. It basically does what, what this would do. But when the oscillator tries to play two frequencies, it, 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 it results in... in One, one funny modulation, the other one uh, just modulates the drive of the first stage and you get that, you get that, I uh, maybe show it here, you get that brassy, brassy attack. It all started with, with looking for a good analog which would respond nicely to, to this. So I thought, yeah, I'll build my own and if analog, then tubes. I thought, uh, I love the sound. The possibilities uh, are a little bit, maybe a little bit limited. Yeah, it's difficult to make ladder filters or things like that. But I came sort of the other way around uh, via Having a resonator instead of instead of classic filter with cutoff and, 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 and that stuff. So uh, then I started loving the sound of, of the tube oscillator and, and the resonator. Uh, and the circuits are very easy to to make. 
and that you can stand almost anything, any sort of mis misbehavior. And uh, the other thing is that I've encountered several like synthesizers done on tubes before, but they were mainly done for just for fun, some squeaky, unstable animals. So I thought tubes don't deserve this uh, <laughs> this sort of fame. Uh, they are normal, pretty electronic uh, devices that, that can make nice sounds. It's a DIY kit. Uh, uh, you can choose your level when you when, when you when you purchase purchase the kit. You can choose the level. You can have the boards done, uh, tune everything. Or the cabling, that's a big bugger in, in this one, so I can do the cabling for you. So it depends, customer to customer, it changes. Some people love doing everything themselves, so, so, so that's it. But anyway, you get all the parts you need up to a single last screw for, for, for that. And a nice big manual, how to do it, or how I do it, and you can do it differently. As well, you can you can take any part of the circuit and alter it. It's open design, so just use it the way you love. Yeah.